This is my Novo hit and miss gasoline engine, uh, about a 1914 model, three horsepower, 525 RPM. I can tell it's an early model by the shape of the carburetor. They changed it in 1916 and uh, they added a breather. This didn't have a crankcase breather. I added one. That's the crankcase breather there. It used to blow oil right out the holes there. It made a big mess. It still leaks oil, but not like it used to. So this is the gas tank down on the bottom here. And then the oil is in this section right here. And you put in just enough where the, the uh, nuts on the rod dip into it. And then as it splashes, it splashes oil up on the cylinder walls. And then this oiler, you turn this on so it drips just a few times a minute, five or six times a minute. And that oils the piston pin. This is the fuel pump. And you prime it like that, push it down like that a couple times until you get gas up. You can see it squirting up and you know you've got gas. If it doesn't pump, you need to tighten your packing nut a little bit so it's not packing, not pumping air. If you tighten it too much, when it pumps down, it doesn't come back up, so it's got to be just about right. And it pumps oil, gas up, up to here, and it reaches the level it needs to be, and then the X just goes back down to the gas tank. These grease cups, these grease the main bearings. And the ignition is battery ignition with a model, model T coil. And this thing right here, this is an insulator. Insulates this thing here. There's a cam on the bottom that comes up. When it's ready to fire, it touches this. And it completes the ground. And this here is the, the governor. As it goes back and forth, as it goes around, its centrifugal force pulls it out. As it pulls it out, it pushes this thing in here, and that locks the exhaust valve open, and it freewheels. It saves gasoline that way because it doesn't, with the exhaust valve gas locked open, there's no suction and it doesn't suck any gas in and then when it slows down then this thing pops out and the exhaust valve works and then it fires if you put a load on it it fires every time now the intake valve just does not have a lever or push rod it just works from intake vacuum the intake vacuum sucks it open and the spring closes it if you try and run it too fast, you, you can adjust the governor, but if you try and run it too fast, it has a tendency to want to run away. So I, I put an emergency shutoff switch here and it shuts it off. And when I'm ready to start it, I want to check to make sure that the spark is working. So I'll bring it up on the compression. And I can even release the compression a little bit until I get to the dead, top dead center and see if it... And you can hear the buzz coil buzzing. That tells me I've got spark, so I know I'm in good shape. Okay, I usually start it by going around like that. If it's hard to start sometimes, it gets a little old, and sometimes I actually pulled a muscle one time, so I, I devised another system to make it go. Also, when I'm ready to start it, that's on compression right there. So I put my hand over it and I suck on the intake and that sucks gas in. It's like a choke. There's a needle valve on top of the carburetor. 
I give it about, that's off there, I give it about a quarter turn, and I'm going to start it. Start a little easier with one third turn on the screw on top. engine. If I put a load on it, it'll fire every time. <laughs> 